Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back. So I've been getting a lot of questions about, you know, what mode I'm farming, what map I'm farming to capture all the Sierras. Um, I think in the time of making this, I'm currently rank 1 in Capture League. Yes, I am. Alright. Uh, and, and yeah, we're, uh, I, I've been getting a lot of questions, uh, like people messaging me on Discord, like which map am I actually farming. Um, I, I'm actually doing something a little bit different than what I usually do. It's just, it's just kind of for fun. But I, I started like jumping around the, the four maps um, on, on the second continent and I was able to catch a lot of Sierras as well as catch uh, enough Anus to make an Evil 3 um, Light Anu. It means I'll also be able to do the, the Light Shiva Fusion very, very soon. At the end of the video, I'm going to do the Light Shiva Fusion so you guys can look forward to that as well. But before doing that, I wanted to uh, give you guys some tips on how to capture as many Sierras as possible. Now, uh, the, the secret really is just farm time. Um, if you can cut your farm time down to the, like, the the absolute maximum. I was actually using this team to, oh yeah, I was using this team to farm uh, Slumbering City. I, start, I started moving on to Slumbering City, um, but I was actually farming, I was farming this map while, like, leveling some monsters. I'll, I'll show you guys, like, what's what's a really, really good run um, of, or, or if I just want maximum efficiency in terms of time, like, what I would be running. Uh, this is my team that I would be using to farm, you know, it's my Jin and, like, um, three Victorias. I would actually sw like to switch her on Siphon as well, maybe like put her on Siphon, but I kind of need her for dragons. Now the reason I, I'm using the Jin and the Victorias is because, as you can see, the Jin is on Siphon gems, and he's basically able to um, get his bar full on turn one, and then he can do like three nukes, which means that he will always consistently be able to clear the whole entire map in, tr in four attacks. Like, no, no more than four attacks. Um, he will be able to clear the map. Now, the, the other reason I'm using the Victorias is because um, they have the fastest animation time out of all the... I think they don't have the exact fastest, but one of the fastest animation times. I think this extra two seconds was from the from the beginning when my when there was like an animation because I, I just started out the game. Um, but... Yeah, like if you if you get your get your uh, time to maximum efficiency, it should be around 36 seconds. And usually I just do that. I, I continue, like, you know, I continuously farm the map um, 30 sec 36 seconds. And there's actually a pretty big difference between, like, 36 seconds to, like, 40 seconds to, like, 50 seconds. If you think about it, that extra 10 seconds, like, if you do, like, in the, in the, time, in the time of, like, half an hour, I might have gotten, like, you know, four, five, six more runs in than someone that's doing this, this map, um, you know, in 50 seconds. Um, versus, you know, like, 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 you know, my, my 36 seconds versus 50, like maybe like 52 seconds. Um, I might've been able to get like two or three more runs in and that actually does add up because during this, this whole entire time while I'm farming during the event, you know, many, many hours, um, the extra, the extra runs means I have a higher chance to encounter certain monsters and, 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 um, capture more Sierras. Now, obviously, you guys, like, not everyone, one of you guys has, like, a, you know, Gen on Siphon set or, or some crazy shit like that. Um, <laughs> but but there's there are some things you can do to actually improve the amount of Sierras that you catch. Um, for, I'm going to be going over the three modes, um, you know, normal, hard, and extreme. For, for new players, normal mode is actually really, really good because um, normal mode has, two advan has a few advantages. Uh, one of the advantages to normal mode is that First of all, the monsters are, are much weaker. They have less less HP, very, very low HP, which means that if you have monsters with high enough attack, like say, for example, you started playing the game for a few days, um, you have some like like water monas or something like that, um, you're, you're, you're hitting certain monsters in normal mode, uh, maybe monsters that you, you might have elemental advantage against, like maybe on Pagos Coast or something like that. Um, you know, these monsters don't have a lot of HP, and they actually have more HP than the slimes on on the first map. And then you might need to use wood monsters. If you have mostly water monsters, you want to you want to farm on maps where you have elemental advantage, so you can be be certain that you can like you know one shot the monsters. Um, you know, since these two are fire, um, you have a higher chance. Like if you're using like a water mona, you have a higher chance to hit be hitting water monsters. And these mimics actually have a little bit less HP than than uh, than these guys because he's actually no, they're tanks. God damn it, he's, he's actually pretty tanky. He might ruin your runs. Basically, if you have enough damage to one-shot the whole entire wave, you have a higher chance to clear clear the wave um, faster. So you want to be farming on maps where you have elemental advantage against. And the, the advantage to farming on normal mode is the monsters are weaker, which means that even with a very, very weak, like, you know, 4-star, 5-star monster, um, 
you still have enough damage to one shot the wave and that's that's basically what you want to do you want to be able to one shot the wave as much as possible um and the other thing is also to get your aoe up as, as much as, as fast as possible because when you get your aoe up and you have enough damage to one shot the wave you're going to clear the whole entire wave in one attack so uh, that's that's also one of the advantages of using monsters that have skills like morale boost for example the the, the water mona as i mentioned before um she's a very very good monster she has like a she has a 20% morale boost. It's not the best, but it's it's definitely it definitely is something. And she has very very high base attack for for a water monster. I think she has the second highest attack out of all the Nat threes in the game. Um, she's she's definitely a very very good monster, and a lot of people have been raising her to, um, you know, I, I even raised two of them like very very late into the game. I never used water monas before, but eventually I I I just I had to raise them. They they were super super good. Like water monas are insanely good monsters. Like if you're new to the game, raise a water mona. Um, you will not be disappointed, but that's that's one of the advantages of the farming normal mode. Uh, monsters are weaker; it's easier to, for you to one-shot them and get faster clear times. The other advantage to farming on normal mode is you can actually get some bonuses while you're farming, and uh, the bonus to normal mode is actually player XP. And player XP is actually a little—it's not the most important thing, but it's—it's it's just a little bit of a bonus because if you level, it means that you um, you get energy back when you level. You also your maximum amount of energy that you can have. Um, also increases by one, I think, um, yeah, every single time that you level up. So that's that's like a little bit of a bonus. It's, it's, it's not too much. It doesn't really matter. Um, but, you know, it's still, it's, still, it's still good. It's still something you can keep in mind. Um, the also, also, the the other advantage to doing this is like uh, um, certain levels, like especially like the earlier levels, if you... This is for players that don't have monsters with siphon. If you have monsters with siphon set, um, this probably won't matter. But if you go to the er earlier levels, um, you know how like each wave usually has four monsters. Like on, I think on Phantom Forest and stuff, they only have three monsters. So if I if I just go in with this team, I think they only have three. Oh wait, they only have two. Yeah. So one of the advantages to to this happening, uh, to to farming these maps, if you don't have siphon and you absolutely just want to catch as many Sierras as possible, is that um, you can actually clear this much faster because because there's a chance for your monsters to basically just like, if they're strong enough to one-shot and they just go at the same time, there's a chance that they, they would attack the two different monsters, meaning that you clear a whole wave with just one attack. Um, even on turn one and it doesn't matter the amount of aoe's and on the second wave there's only three monsters so there's also a chance for you to basically like you know if you have four units and at least three of them attack three different units then there's a chance that you have enough um to clear the whole entire wave as, as you see right over here i didn't even need to take advantage of the uh the siphon gems so that's that's definitely one of the uh one of the one of the advantages to um to farming on normal mode i guess not to run this not to waste this run, I can slime as well. You might you might encounter some Sierras while sliming as well. That's actually pretty good. Alright, you guys haven't seen this sliming trick. This isn't just the give up trick. This is the give up, and then like you give up, you pause and pause, and then it speeds this part up as well. <laughs> Alright, uh... Oh shit! I, I I quit, but I guess I guess it's fine. I should I shouldn't have not I should have not quit, but I, I guess it doesn't really matter. Um, so yeah, that's one of the that's also one of the other advantages to farming on normal mode. If you're extremely desperate and you just want to farm as many Sierras as possible, just go to Phantom Forest and farm on normal mode. Like if you have, don't have any siphon, and there's a chance for you to get fast clear times, you won't be able to consistently kill kill everything because there's there's our chances where. Um, your monsters might attack the same unit and then it just leaves one alive and it takes an extra attack and that might actually, you know, slow down your runs. So I guess the only way you can get consistent fast runs is if you have all your monsters on Siphon set. But if you're really desperate, you can go back to normal mode like on Phantom Forest and farm that instead. Um, yeah, that's... that's... That's that's normal mode. Um, hard mode, it's kind of the same thing, but like you can you can farm hard mode if you're like in a mid mid game, if you're a mid game player and your monsters are like just strong enough. Say for example, you have like a water mona that's like evil three five stars with like you know four star gems at plus twelve. Like she should have enough damage to one shot all the monsters on Pagos Coast. Um, so you can you can go and go and farm hard mode, and then this will actually give you higher efficiency. It means that. 
um, you get more return in terms of gold and and uh, and XP for your monsters if you're farming on on hard mode versus normal mode. Normal mode actually uh, in, like per energy. Um, hard mode has higher efficiency per energy. It gives you more gold and and XP um, per run for for four energy versus versus normal for for three like it's like per energy it gives you it gives you more basically um extreme mode has the highest efficiency extreme mode also has another bonus which is dragon sigils dragon sigils is is what you need to farm dragon dungeons during the weekend um without these dragon sigils you're not able to go into the dragon dungeon so you basically you need to have the dragon sigils or else or else there's just like there's no there's nothing you can do you can't you can't farm the dragon dungeons um dragon gems are very very good dragon is where they drop the siphon gems so it's definitely a worthy investment if you want to um work to, towards getting your you know a, a full siphoning set because once you get a full siphoning set you can kind of do what i do which is like you know get really really fast like 36 second runs um it's, it's not guaranteed like not all siphon units can do that there's there's only like if you have like dark mona maybe with the new dark sierra she or she she might be able to do it as well um and then like fire Jin and like you know fire S siegfried um they have like enough damage or like dark purse they have enough damage to like fill up their bars on on turn one so if you have them with a siphon set you can farm extremely like you know extremely extremely fast um or if you have multiple units on siphon set it basically ensures that at least one unit is going to get a full bar on turn one and then you just you just kill everything so that that also works as well um, but you know, if you at least have one siphon set, then your your efficiency or your your time um, efficiency will be very very high. So that's definitely one of the advantages to farming on on hard on extreme mode because you can get those dragon sigils and you can start working and progressing towards getting your um, your siphoning set. And uh, they also drop like pugilist sets, which is like extremely strong for for PvP late game as well. Um, so that's that's definitely one of the other advantages to farming on extreme mode. I only farm on extreme because I have basically the same amount of amount of efficiency. I can't like I physically cannot get any faster because my gin literally just kills everything in four attacks. So uh, you know there's really no difference in farm time if I farm normal or, or if I farm extreme. So if you get to that point, then you can also be farming dragon sigils as well as getting the most amount of gold per energy. Um, and as well as the most amount of XP, so that's definitely really really nice. But yeah, that's pretty much it. That's that's really all there is. Like, there's no, uh, there's no, uh, there's no, there's no like you know, nothing you can like do to drastically change your farm time. But those are like just some little tips that might help you um, catch a little, a few more Sierras. Be sure to do the special dungeons because these come up quite often, if, especially if you have a lot of active friends. Um, you add them and then they're farming, they discover dungeons, you can come in and farm these. And these basically drop drop Sierra Soul Stones and you can use them to um, get your Soul Stone count up really, really high as well. And you can, I think if you get 50 Soul Stones, you can summon one. So that's definitely really, really good. All right, that's pretty much it. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go and uh, do something that I've been waiting to do for a very, very long time. I decided to combine the videos together because I, I've been getting a lot of questions, um, so I, I thought I might as well do this. Just kind of talk a little bit about how you can uh, how you can get your farm game up. All right, all right. Uh, sh I should. I think it gives you like two to five, or one to five. I can't remember. All right, I got two here, so that's actually not too bad because if you get fifty, it means that you can summon one Sierra. So um, yeah, you, it, you go over here and it's like fifty piece to do to do one summon. Currently have one hundred and ten, so that's that's actually pretty good. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, you just go, you cap capture some Sierras. Um, I made my Dark One Evil 2. Can't make her Evil 3 yet. I'm trying to not make her a variant. Like, I, I don't like the variant color of her. But if I get like a really high, like a level 5 or level 6 variant skill, I might actually do it. Because her, her variant skill is actually useful. Like, I don't want to ever be in a situation where I need her variant skill and I can't use it. Like, it would be... It'd be, it'd be fucking dumb, all right? It would, it would be fucking dumb. Uh, yeah, that's that's pretty much it. So I'm gonna finally fuse my Shiva. It's been a very very long time um, since I 
been started working on this. It's been like two months, uh, and I'm going. I'm going to do it now. I have I have my Evil Three uh, Stormbeak and my uh, my Anu. It's kind of it's kind of sad because this this one's like he, he this one this one's triple square and it's a variant. It's like a level five variant, I think. And then this Anu is a uh, is a level six variant. So. But I guess it's fine because I have like two wood Anus that are level six variants as well, so I guess it doesn't doesn't really matter. Variant Anus, like perfect variant Anus, are actually pretty pretty easy to get. I don't know they they all they all come as perfect variants for for some weird reason. But anyways, I'm gonna f I'm gonna summon this, and hopefully I get good slots. Hopefully it comes out as a variant. Like that would be even even sicker. Oh man. It's time. All right, did not come out as a variant, but I, it doesn't really matter because this leader skill only works in dungeons. We're gonna check the slots. Hopefully, it has no triangle. I'm actually hoping it doesn't. Then I can put it on pugilist set. If it has a triangle, I'm gonna probably put it on life. All right, it has one of each. It's not too bad. The, the problem is I have no HP pugilist. I only have a defense one, and this one has no uh, has no resist. Uh, I, I really don't have any good HP pugilist as well. I'll, I'll probably put him on life. I think I think that's probably best if I just put him on life set. Yeah, none of my HP pugilists have a uh, have a lot of resist, which is which is kind of sad. But I guess I can definitely put him on on a life set. I think I think I need to steal some gems from someone. Let's 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 gem them up. I think I definitely should gem them up. Uh. Let's see. I think who has my life gems? I think it's like one of my Hanas or both of them. Not this one. This one? No, this one's on protection. Oh, it's my it's my fire cupid. I think. Wait, why am I sorting by element? This one's got 16% resist and a bit of defense. 20% crit damage, which is which is pretty sick. Uh, this one's got 23% resist and 12% crit, and also defense as well. This one only has 9% resist. It's also one of each slot. There might be a better uh, a better one. This one this one's insane. But I was actually trying to use this for light for my dark cupid. But I think light shiva actually deserves this more than more than the cupid. Uh, this one's like uh, with a lot of flat HP. Which will increase his HP pool even more. Um, basically, just all rolled into the, roll, all rolled into the HP. Unless I have something better here, I might use the Cupid's gem. Who else has has life? I don't think this one has any resist. Yeah, she only has eight percent from this one. Doesn't have that much HP as well. It has fourteen defense though. That that's actually pretty sick. Hmm. This is not a, not enough resistance. Damn, but these two gems are actually really good. This one's got 16. This one's got a. Uh, this one's got 23. Unless my Cupid has a better one. I can give that one to Cupid and put this on somebody else. This one is, only has 9% resist. It has recovery, which is actually pretty good for Cupid. I could put him on uh, Conviction as well, if I want his resistance to be extremely high. Conviction could also work. My my Conviction gems are kind of spread out. I think I have a lot of uh, Conviction on random units, like my uh, my my other, my Wood Hana over here. So this one only has, this one is a bit of attack, it's not too bad. It has 17% resist. Um, this one has 14. This one has 20% curry, but this is a recovery gem. Who, who has all my... Who the heck has all my... Uh, convictions? I think it's my spark it. This one only has 12%. This one's got 14. This one's got 31, but it's a crit rate gem. Oh, my Yaksha has all of them. Yeah, this one is 26. This one is 21. This one has a uh, 17, but I, I need her. I need her for for my uh, 
for clan and PvP. Alright, it, it looks like I'm just gonna have to steal that Fire Cupid's gems. And uh and this'll do. This I, I guess this is this is this'll do. Wait, does this this also have crit rate? Hmm, this one is thirteen percent. Yeah, yeah, this 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 gem set will do. It's not the best, but uh I guess it'll do. Wait, was it was that triple HP or is that HP HP defense? All right, if I have if I have to put on my HP HP def defense, I will. There's nothing I can do. There's no better HP gem, is there? This one's got, got nine percent resist. This one's sixteen. But this also has defense. It has twenty percent crit damage. He'll have like forty something percent crit rate. The crit damage will also will be somewhat helpful. The 40% crit rate will be really, really nice as well. It'll help me win some some defense fights. I'm gonna I'm gonna roll this gem and see if uh see if it gives me resist. If it like rolls twice into resist, I'll use this one. This one would be better if it rolls like twice into resist. Because it already has 9%. So even if it gives me a low roll, it'll it probably might be even better than that one. If it gives me a 7% roll, it means um, I'll have 16, which will match the other one. And then I'll have two other rolls to see if if uh, I can get it even higher than this. Alright, nice. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Good job, Tina. Give me that, uh... Give me that sick 30% resist gem. You guys feeling it? I'm feeling it. Oh god, it went to the flat defense. It still has a chance to be better, because if it rolls one more time into resist, it'll be better. Even if it doesn't roll into resist, this will still be an okay gem for a Titan's Mon. Because it has it already has 16% resist. If it goes one more time into resist, it'll be better than the other one. If it doesn't, I'll just use the other one. Because the other one has uh, has one, one defense percent roll and then uh like 20 percent crit damage so that one's actually really really strong come on come on All right, please, please to resist. Oh man. All right, it's not bad, but the other one's better. All right, this is the one I'm using. Wait, let me make sure it's the right. Let me saw this first. Wait, was this the one I wanted to use? This one's actually pretty strong as well. But this one has 12% crit rate. I think the crit rate might be really might actually help me win defenses more. Cause if it if he like nukes and crits, he can kill a lot of shit. I'll take the crit rate. This one's got 13%. This one this one's a really good gen. It's got defense, flat HP on a HP life gen, 30% crit rate, and 23% uh, resist. It's too good to be wasted on a, on a Titan's Mon. Alright, he's, he's only got 50% resist, but he's got a shit ton of HP, so I guess it's it's still pretty good. Um, let's, let's, gle let's gleam him up, let's gleam him up. Where my other Shivas are all evil too, right? And let me just make sure they have no gems on them. Wait, where are the Shivas? Alright, this this level 61 I have to sack, but 
I guess it's worth. Do I have enough soul stones? I do. I can I can six star him, but I just need some high stones. I might to save some time. I actually might fuse some, so I can continue farming. Alright, this will be my uh, my my third Evil 3 Nat 5. Damn, that, that, that shit's sexy. Dude, when I max out these gems and get a max level, it's gonna be a beast. Holy shit, alright. There we go. That's, that's what I'm talking about. Um... Alright, now what? What... Are, I got a lot of astro gems back. All right, that's that's it. There's 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 nothing else. That's that's the end of the video, guys. I'm I'm going back to farming. I'm going to be leveling them up, and uh, tomorrow I think I'll be able to. Uh, tomorrow, the day after, I'll be able to show him off and in all his glory. All right. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.